hey guys and welcome back to my channel we are here for leo um yeah okay leo let's get right into it the title of your video is uh you can run but you can't hide okay so what you running from leo what you running from the past is chasing you something i don't know what the hell this is something's chasing you and you trying to escape um i got an image of a lion just running full speed ahead but constantly looking back as though it was being chased I feel as though there's something, there's some Leos out there running from a situation that needs to be dis addressed. I don't feel like you want to address it though. Um, so you're running and or avoiding something that you're going to have to confront. Maybe you're just not ready. I don't know, but I feel like this is um, something possibly from the past that needs to be corrected or confronted before you can move forward. You always get tired of running at some point. That's what they want to say. You won't get tired of running. And then guess what? You ain't got no choice but to face it. So it's up to you whether you're going to face it now or you're going to face it later. But it's got to get faced. So, hey Leo, I hope y'all doing good. Hope everybody is well. God, universe, angels, and spirit guides. Please give us clear and concise messages for the sign of Leo. What messages do we have for Leo, please? Clear and concise messages for Leo. What message do we have for Leo? What message do we have for Leo, please? Solitude, gratitude, and love on the bottom. Patience. Awareness. Okay, so y'all somebody could be waiting. Y'all could be waiting on some love out here. Don't gotta be, but y'all could be because it says waiting. It says patience and love. So but coming out we got solitude, okay? So but you could be coming out of solitude or you could have been have come you you could have could be out of solitude now. And now you have gratitude. Now you're very grateful for something that you learned during your journey. Okay. Possibly, it could be possibly what you was running from, and then you come out, you set, you settle it, and you you're grateful that you did, but you realize it wasn't even that big of a deal. You was doing all that running for nothing. Okay. Messages for Leo. What messages do we have for Leo, please? Messages for Leo. What messages do we have for Leo? Messages for Leo. Messages for Leo. What messages do we have for Leo, please? Messages for Leo. Messages for Leo. What messages do we have for Leo? Messages for Leo, please. Leo, why are we back on intuition? It's hard for you, isn't it? We got triumphant success and in intuition. I feel like the key, the, the key to success for you is through your intuition. Your intuition has the key to the answer that you need to in order to triumph and over the situation. I feel like the clarity you need to rise above the confusion is in your intuition. But you just need to take some time to yourself to, his, to hear it. Get this down. Move this right here. Okay, what's next? Okay, let's get some angel messages. What messages do we have for Leo? Messages for Leo. Messages for Leo. What messages do we have for Leo? What messages do we have for Leo, please? What 
no <laughs> on the bottom of the deck in the near future unlikely yes we have to change no oh that seems forceful dang look at that this says no with a big explanation part and this one just says no without no explanation mark so still no no it's you you're not listening to your intuition leo you're running from something that you need to go back and um reconsider about the answer is no you're being told to trust and reconsider but you're saying no <laughs> okay Okay, what's that card that fell off the deck? Family room. Did I get everything? Well, let's know. I got self care. I got self care, and then I got the the animal oracle. Those are just for Leo. I love these cards. They give me your business. Okay, so we got to see what you're really trying to hide from me. Wink, wink. Messages for Leo. Messages that we have for Leo, please. Great fortune. Messages for Leo. Messages for Leo. Name Neil. I know what these mean, but I'm just trying to make sure they ain't a problem partnered together. I have to go back in the book and check that sometimes. Just I don't know exactly what's a problem. Males A male, the male significator, the co pro, the the, the co pro protagonist um, of our novel. In keeping the uh, keeping with the time, he's a fine gentleman, a so-called man of qualities, and we meet him in his study. It represents you, the reader, your your querian. Or the principal male subject of the reading it describes where you are at this moment in time what you desire and what you should be aware of it also encourages you to look after yourself so I don't know maybe you well-dressed man stands in a well-appointed victor power his gaze is confident direct and open his this car signifies the male query in the reading for a woman he's an important male in her life so there could be somebody that you are very important to okay i never did read this so i guess it was a reason i do everything intuitively i was just trying to make sure these cars ain't paired with no bad ones great fortune unexpected good luck is on the way considered by many this is the best card in the deck this card amplifies nearby good cards and weakens bad ones time it relates to daylight hours or summertime you may have a very good period now take a chance on your opportunities great fortune doesn't provide comfort for the rest of your days but indicates that you will hope that that you can hope for an improvement or winning streak in the short term Great fortune indicates new opportunities in job matters or simply satisfaction from daily work. It also announces new perspective and improvements in relationship matters. Yep, that could be a perspective for you. It could be representative of a new perspective that you need to take for somebody that sees you as a very significant and important in your life, but you don't want to see. You're like, no, no, I don't know what I was just saying since I read that. 
You running from something. Don't know what it is, but you do. All right, let me keep going. Keep going. Let me keep going. What messages do we have for Leo? Messages for Leo. What messages do we have for Leo? What messages do we have for Leo? What messages for Leo. Messages for Leo. What messages do we have for Leo, please? What messages do we have for Leo? What messages do we have for Leo? Alright. Can I finish the shuffle? Sorry, y'all. I gotta flip it. <laughs> messages for Leo. What messages do we have for Leo? <laughs> I'm like, okay, I flipped it. Where's my card? They told me be patient. I feel like you might need to be patient. Take some time to reconsider some stuff. Take a leap of faith. Know your worth. Oh, okay. They wanted these cards all come out like this. Time for a beginner's mind. Know your worth. Take a leap of faith. And use your wise mind, your mind wisely. It's in the reverse, though. Because you don't want to. Your answer is no. The answer is yes. It's something that you're being miracles are endless. It's something that you're you know you okay. And I feel like you 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 lot you learned your worth okay over this time. You know your worth okay. And because you feel like you know your worth, I feel like that's why you're looking at the situation. But I feel like it's time for you to take on a beginner's mindset okay and take a, have faith in the situation. You just got to take a leap. It looks really bad, but do you know who God is? Because it don't matter how it looks. But because it looks bad, this is why you like, no. We're going to clarify these, I guess. I'm clarifying all of them. But that's the end of it, the reading. So let's get your overall. Oh, we need self-care first. Self-care. What self-care card do we have for Leo at this time? What would be good, beneficial for Leo? I just seen two, two, two. What self-care message would be beneficial to you at this time? Self-care message for Leo at this time would be beneficial for Leo. Self-care messages. Clear your energy field. Sage it out. And it says sync with the moon. On the bottom. But you need to clear out your energy. There's something in your energy, possibly that's lingering, it needs to go. Something that you hold on to, which is why your answer is no. But if you truly forgive and move forward, it won't be like that. Okay, so let's get into this clear. No, we can't get into one. I'm just moving ahead of myself. I'm ahead of myself. Maybe you're ahead of yourself. You're moving too fast. Take a step back. Messages for Leo and what they need to know at this time. What messages do we have for Leo and what they should know at this time? What messages for Leo and what they need to know at this time? What messages for Leo and what they need to know at this time? What messages for Leo and what they need to know at this time? Messages for Leo and what they need to know at this time? message for Leo and what they need to know at this time. I feel like it's going to be a sudden or unexpected change happen because you're constantly yelling no and they constantly yelling, yelling yeah. But they already yelling yeah because they already knew about this un um, this sudden or unexpected changes of event. Review your options carefully. Events that move with great speed. Yep, Seven of Swords. That's you. There you are. Running, trying to get away, deceiving the hell out of yourself. A loss of a peace of mind or personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others' actions. A material loss. Make sure you're being honest with yourself. And I don't think you are. But I feel like you're running to avoid it. Avoid it. Messages for Leo. What messages do we have for Leo, please? Messages for Leo and what they need to know at this time. Messages for Leo and what they need to know at this time. 
messages for Leo and what they need to know at this time. Messages for Leo and what they need to know at this time. Messages for Leo and what they need to know at this time. Messages for Leo and what they need to know at this time. Messages for Leo. What they need to know at this time. Yeah, Leo don't want to give out no information. Messages for Leo. They don't got no choice. Messages for Leo. What they need to know at this time. It's something you're avoiding or hiding or running from, Leo. And then, I don't feel like the ball is. I, don't, I mean, the ball is in your court to take the action, but I don't feel like you got that. I don't feel like you got. I don't feel like you had no choice. Negative thoughts manifesting into challenges. Fear surrounding money. Reach out to others for assistance. Poor timing for becoming self-employed. Well, what I got from this card that all that I read is to reach out for others for assistance and you not doing it. Messages for Leo. And if you haven't find if you were having financial troubles, I feel like you are at coming out of that. Messages for Leo. Like well, this is just your love. Like this is like something. I feel like this is, I don't know. It don't got to be love life, actually. It could have been something else. Okay. So I feel like you lack a perception, Jane. I feel like you need to change your perception. And then in order to put the work into to, to whatever this new beginning is that you try to take faith for. If they ask you to take wise counsel. Look at that on the bottom. Utility. you I'm sorry. Unity with the spiritually minded community. Ask the divine for help and trust. The answers will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you. So this is getting, uh, this is getting, this is having the opinion of somebody else spiritually. Or just some wise counsel. Somebody you see is wise that you see that you feel is smart. You know, maybe connects on different levels than you. So let's get into this. Decisive, focus, driven, defensive. Events that move with great speed. Choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional. Sudden or unexpected changes. Reveal your options carefully. Because I feel like this is going to be a decision that you all, you just up and made logically. It's out of a sudden. Something happens. It's a sudden or an unexpected change if it's not a decision that you just up and made. Okay. And it just, it, it up a sudden turn. Wait a minute. It just auto sudden or unexpected change happen. And then boom. A loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Or maybe something to change a, a chain of events that didn't you didn't expect did happen, and you know it, but you just didn't want that. That's not what you wanted. So there you are trying to walk away from it, deceiving yourself. Or maybe you do want it, but you're trying to act like you don't. Because I feel like some this card is saying that you're not being honest with yourself, and that's why you're running away from the truth. But I feel like you very stopped that because it has negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges, fear surrounding money. If you had any fears around your money, that's over because this is in reverse. Your money is coming out. Any any depletion in your finances is starting to increase. Reach out for assistance. But I just feel like this is, you need to reach out or you need to, it's something that you need assistance with or you need to reach out about. It's something, but you're running, running away with the truth. Running from the truth. But then here's a perception change. Okay, this is what's going to stop you from wanting. That this is going to stop you from running from the truth. Logical perspective, a logical or perspective, insightful, blunt and exciting. Intellectual challenge, brilliant brilliant insights, information that you need but might be challenging to receive. So I feel like this is where your perception come in where you find out what is needed and you what needs to what happen, what you need to do, what needs to happen and you don't really agree with it. Okay? But I feel like the perception been coming in and you've been not in agreement with it. So you was just running. But this final perception is great. getting make to force you to do some kind of work. Learning all you can about a subject or a career. Going back to school, taking a seminar, finding a mentor. Attention to detail. Skilled work that you love. 
So I feel like this, but this perception is gonna come and give you all the, all the information you need to start putting the work into something, and taking the leap of faith. So whatever this is that you're running from, you turn around and put the faith and put the work into it, right when that perception comes to you. Okay. So there's a lack of perception, and that's why you are um, running because you need that perception change. Because if you've seen it the way that you would, with this perception comes in, then you're like, oh, okay, I was running for nothing, like that. Okay. Why is great fortune here? Great fortune. Why'd you show Leo great fortune? Why's a great fortune here for Leo, please? Great fortune. Why is that here for Leo? Why's a great fortune here for Leo? Yeah. It's a past disappointment in your way keeping you from putting in the work. And whatever this great opportunity is because you don't feel like it'll come in the way you think it would. You don't feel like it'll be that way. That that's saying not a great opportunity, no. And they're telling you, yes, you need to reconsider because it's a great opportunity. But you don't know it all. Neither of none of us do. But you so you're 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 um disappointed. The past has disappointed you too much to put some work into it. And that's why you need to reconsider. Because main male. Somebody held you in a high regards in their life. Why is main male here? For Leo. Main male. Yep. You don't want to. You don't want to bring this thing back around. The Wheel of Fortune came out in reverse. When it's in the upright, it spins back around and do it all over again. But you don't want to. It's supposed to spin back around and bring some back to balance out this time. After retreating and end to the situation. After assessing, reassessing, and thinking. Something happened. I don't know. I feel like some death need to happen. A death, something needed to end. Some your perspective, a perspective needed to end. I feel like something needs to change, okay, before this could work out. But I feel like somebody wants to, um, you running, and, and somebody in the past wants to talk. They want to bring it back around, but I don't think you do, because the wheel of fortune is reversed. That's bringing it full circle, but it's in reverse. So even though somebody might want to bring it full circle, somebody else is like no. But it's a lot of stress and anxiety around the situation. It could be sleepless nights, sleepless nights. Trying to figure out how to balance out the situation, how to bring the balance, how to balance, how do I find balance in this anxiety field? Put an end to that perception. Sorry, I'm just saying. So, but we know that it's telling you you need to take a leap of faith. You need to do it by faith because it looks bad. Because you look by sight, it looks really bad. You need to do it by faith because they're telling you it's time for a beginner's mindset. You went through this. Now it's time for you to start over fresh. Stop, take, empty out what you thought you knew and come on fresh with that beginner mind. Because you know your worth now. Or maybe somebody else needed to learn their worth. But now you know your worth. But it's still, use your mind. Why is, why is pig spirit reverse? Why is pig spirit reverse for Leo? Yeah, you're not using your mind wisely, but it looks like that you, the burdens, you need to put the burdens down, and it could be ego here, with the king of wands, it could be some ego, I think it's ego, a lot of people dealing with ego deaths right now, could be some ego that's burdensome, and you need to put it down, and you got clarity, that that's what you need to do, put that ego down in order to heal the situation, or the ego, your clarity was telling you, hey, the burden is your ego, Okay, because what you're saying, what it's telling you to use your mind wisely in the upright, all of these cards will be in the upright too. But since you're not using your mind wisely, this is what you're resulting. 
you're resulting this because you're not using your experience. You're not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. You're not really willing to put the work in and have a partnership or work it with somebody. And that's why you're not happy. Because you're not seeing it. You're seeing it the way you want to see it in a way instead of the way you need to see it. Makes a lot of sense. So, this is you. Seeing it the way you want to see it instead of how you need to see it. So, you say, no. Uh-uh. I don't want that. Let me get these cards back because I might need them. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll clarify these two. Let me get these. All the clarified cards I put over there. Why is no here? Why'd you show no here for Leo? Why is no here? Yeah, I think they're trying to deliver you your justice, but you're so busy being fixed on how you think feel things should be. Because justice is here to balance out the situation is what it's saying. To balance out, to right wrongs in the situation, to balance out something that was not balanced. Something that you possibly had a lot of love for, and you possibly still do, but you still you don't express it. Something that hurt you, but you loved it a lot. The universe is trying to balance that out for you, but you like no. And they're telling you, you need to trust me. That's God saying, you need to trust me. You need to trust me, and you need to reconsider. And she's holding the sword. There's your clarity to reconsider. That sword is being held. That came out next. And your intuition is telling you, but you can't be listening to it, huh? Trust. Watch trust here for Leo. Trust that balance will be restored in the situation. Watch trust here. So let me finish it out in case it drops out anything else. Yep, look at that. You got your clarity. But you've been having it. It looks like they keep telling you to trust the situation. This sword's popping up everywhere and you just don't want to. You're walking away from trust. That's what you're doing. You're walking away from trust in the situation because you want it your way. That's not how you're going to get the balance, Leo. They tell you to trust the situation because it does yield happiness. It does yield balance. It does seem unknown and scary, but you need to follow your intuition because there's something to be passionate about. There's a spark, a brand new, fresh, passionate spark. But you do it too busy walking away because you said no. But you better reconsider. Why is reconsider here for Leo? Because your intuition has been telling you. You ain't listening. You better reconsider because you're not listening to your intuition. See, I know my shit. <laughs> not saying that to you, Leo. I'm just saying I know what the fuck be going on out here with these people. Reconsider. You won't because you holding yourself back. It's a brand new beginning and it looks like an old an old cycle for you. So it looks like an old person is coming back and it's, it's it's starting again. And you don't want to, but it's telling you you need to reconsider. Four of Pentacles. This is you holding yourself back, restricting yourself. You see that man in there hiding himself away from it. But guess what? They're telling you you need to reconsider. You need to follow your intuition. Because right now, it looks like you are confused. Are you looking at other options when you really need to be following this path? You need to reconsider. In order to have triumph and success, you need to follow your intuition. Triumph and success. Why is that here for Leo? Why did you give triumph and success here for Leo? Clarify this triumph and success for Leo. What's this triumph and success? Clarify. This triumphant success. Why is triumphant success here for Leo? You got your clarity. You got your clarity around this Ace of Pentacles, this new beginning. You got your clarity, but it's just, it causes a lot of conflict for you. But don't worry about the conflict. Focus on the magic. That's what you need to do when this card is here. It's conflict, yes, because maybe what your clarity was was not what you wanted to hear, but focus on the magic. Do what you're supposed to do. 
Make the decisions that are best for you. And that's how you triumph it. You triumph over the situation and have success. Your intuition is trying to help you. But for some reason or another, it seems like you ain't listening. Why is the intuition here for Leo? Either you don't know how to listen or something. Something's nudging you to tell you that you need to reconsider and you're not paying attention. You're saying no. So you're paying attention. You just don't want to. Intuition. So you're going against the grain, Leo. Ooh. I'm too scared of that. Because God come out with that authority thumb on your ass. You won't, you'll never disobey again. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I've been disobedient. And I had the thumb. So you probably want to reconsider if that's what they're telling you. Because you're going to wish you reconsider when they're done with your ass. Intuition. Why is intuition here for Leo? Yeah, you're not you're not listening to your intuition, Leo. You refuse to get that perception that they send to you. That take that sends you look at that. You're trying to cut it out. Working together and bringing you cut you want to cut out working together and, and bringing this cycle back around. That's what you want to cut out. And that's why you stressed out and got your guard high. Because you feel like you've been through enough. And you don't want to put the work into this from the past. No. But your intuition is telling you you need to go back. You need to go back. You need to go take charge of some situation here. Okay? To bring in the balance. But you won't. Six of Swords reverse. You won't take it into karma waters. You're lacking the perspective that you need or the perspective that you refuse to see. Either way, don't be forced to see that perspective because you're not going to like what they force you to see. I'm telling you. So just be out. Go ahead and go into solitude. Connect with your mind, body, and spirit. Just take some time to listen to yourself. Do introspection. You need to do some introspection at this time. Okay? Why is solitude here for Leo? Why did you show solitude here for Leo, please? I feel like you're gonna get it though, just out of the out of the blue, out of nowhere. Solitude. Four of Wands reverse. Okay, but this is my trying to bring things with you that can't come card. So you stop it. You stop trying to bring shit with you that can't come with you in stability, okay? And you're in the cycle. And it could be ways about yourself. The ways you want to, your, your choice to do things the way you want to do things a little instead of the way you was told to do things, okay? Ego. That's what that is. Pride and ego. So, but I feel like this is it's solitude. You very, you very stop holding on to that. You very put a cycle closer. To once you realize what this is and what you're doing, you're going to leave it out in the cold and put an end to the situation. And it's going to happen abruptly, all of a sudden. Because I, don't, I feel like this is what you're doing, but I don't feel like you, you, you intend on it to be ego. But it's definitely ego. And you, I don't know, gratitude. Why is gratitude here for Leo, please? Why just show Leo gratitude? Clarify this gratitude card for Leo. Why is gratitude here for Leo, please? So, after you go into hermit mode and you get this change in perspective, all of a sudden you end the ways that was in your way, then you, judgment is called, is made, boom. Changing your mind or making a final judgment call or passing it on the situation to move forward in that commitment that you claim you didn't want. That you claim you didn't want to go back to. Two of Cups, why is that here for Leo? What is this Two of Cups for Leo? Or maybe you deciding that you want to move forward to a new um, relationship and not go back. Two of Cups. No, you're going back. I 
feel like, or you might be not, and every turn in your back, kind of go. But I don't know if you got a choice or not, but they're telling you to reconsider it. Why is this Two of Cups here for Leo? What's this Two of Cups here for Leo? Queen of Pentacles. Yep, there's a wife. And here go the Empress on the bottom. And you already came out as the Emperor. This could be a marriage for some of y'all. Don't gotta be. But that's what it is. That's what it is. So I got two scenarios here. What they want you to do is reconsider what you say and know about. Okay? What you want to do is make a final judgment call move forward to new love. With the Empress on the bottom, but it looks like a crossroads here. It's a crossroads here. Because you know you're confused. You don't know what to do, but you do want to have a victory. You do want to have a happy life, a happy wife. And you do want to have something you can manifest. And I just don't feel like you think the past is going to yield that for you. But I feel like there's a missing. You're missing something. There's a, 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 a perception that you're missing here. Maybe in the past you gave more and received little. And that's why you're sitting here with the Six of Pentacles. I asked, oh no. I asked, all of this is here to clarify the Two of Cups. I'm sorry. Also, when I asked what this Two of Cups is, the uh, Empress, not the Empress, the Queen of Pentacles come out. Oh, okay, so this is a new beginning. That you might be confused about. It could be a new, a repeating beginning. And it could be maybe somebody you married that you're going back to. Or just somebody that you want to have nourishment with. And the equal give and take. What is this Queen of Pentacles for Leo? Queen of Pentacles. Why is that here for Leo please? Yep. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. You already married to her. Are you already committed? That's going back because you ain't you been gaining this perspective. What's this Queen of Pentacles, please? And you know the King of Pentacles even try to come out upright. Yeah, because you you bored. You're bored with standing up and fight for this. It's basically it's a whole disc basically it said that you're you're gonna pass a judgment. After you get he's gonna have gratitude. You're gonna pass a judgment to move forward in the two of cups. Or maybe this two of cups turns into marriage. Or it's already a marriage that you're going to go back to. But it's, you, want, it's, you want balance and equilibrium. And the reason I say it could be something that you already dealt with. Because it got you being bored here. So you're standing up. You're standing up. Fighting. Standing up. and hold, Fighting. Holding your ground. Because maybe you gave more. Or maybe things change. Okay. And there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And they're urging you to see it. Okay, there's a brand new beginning here, but that you might not get to if you deceive yourself. The Seven of Swords is trying to get away with something. You the one running in the meditation, but you need to realize you got all the tools you need to manifest this situation, to bring, to have a, a victory in the situation. And it could be a marriage, or it could be a situation that potentially has its, um, has the potential to yield marriage. But you're confused here about some offer. That somebody's bringing in to you or you bringing in to them. And it could be in the form of an apology. After a tower moment. After a collapse. A co after a collapse of um, a tower. After waiting and waiting and waiting on a person to make a decision. But it seemed like they never did because it took them so long. But this here, it seemed like it never did. Because by the time they made it, it just seemed so long. We ain't gonna keep going down there, but I don't know. Leo, you know what this is. It's your title is you can run, but you can't hide. So whatever you're running from is gonna catch up to you real shortly, okay? So that's what I got for you, Leo. And yeah. Thanks for visiting my channel, guys. New and old. If you're new, please consider subscribing on your way out. 
If this did resonate with you, new or old, I would appreciate it if you guys give me a thumbs up to like the video. Um, a lot of people don't care about liking it, but I'll just say it anyway at the end of these videos. If, if you don't like it, it's no big deal. You know what I mean? But I appreciate you coming and watching anyway. I hope this helps you. I hope this helps somebody that needed clarity. I mean, you, but you really didn't need clarity. You got the clarity. It's just the clarity that you got. You don't really want it. The clarity that they gave you, it's not what you wanted to hear. It's not what you was hoping to hear. So, but that's what it is. So maybe if you try to clear out your energy field, you can clear off the residue of that negativity that you hold from the past. So you can move forward with a brand new beginner mindset. Okay? So that's what I got for you, Leo. I hope it helps. And good luck. Until next time. Namaste. Peace.